Hey, it's Austin from Big Country Toys. Today we're going to be putting together our PBR bucking chute. The instructions are on the back of the box that you got, but we thought we'd put this video together to help you out. So we have a PBR bucking chute and an NFR bucking chute. The process is going to be the same. Don't get worried if you have a yellow one instead of this black one. Follow along with the instructions on the box and this video. So start with the bucking chute and turn it over, lay it on the ground, on a table, and turn it over and work on the back clear side of it, so no artwork. Then group your poles. You should have four small poles, four medium-sized poles. You should have four long poles two poles with connectors in the middle, and then two poles in sleeves. You should have five three-point connectors, three two-point connectors, and two gate hinges. So start with your poles that connect in the middle and have the connectors in the middle. Break them in half. Slide them in the gate. Make sure your connectors are flat on the floor or table and pointing towards each other. It's important to know that the two long hex poles go in the gate and they go on the top and bottom of the gate. So next, your shortest poles go into the tops and bottoms of your side panels. Then your four medium poles go into each vertical slot. Then your last two long poles that are not in a sleeve go on the top and bottom of your back panel. So we have bucking chutes with hex poles and round poles. Whichever one you have, it's the same process. You want to work on the gate first and all the steps that I'm about to show you first and in that order. But if you have hex poles, it's a little more challenging and you want to pay extra careful with the steps in the gate. So we're working on the gate first. We put our poles in. And so now we're going to work on the middle pole. It's the shorter one with the sleeve. It is a hex pole and it goes in the middle of the gate. You're going to make sure your connectors in the middle here are flat on the surface and pointing right at each other and you put in from the hinge side over here, you're gonna put this side in first. And then you'll do the bottom of the gate. The bottom of the gate is the five point connector. The three points of the five point connector are going here on this side. where the round poles are. If you have hex poles, this side will be round, this side will be hex. If you have round poles, they'll all be round. Then you'll connect the hex poles, if you have hex poles, to this side. Starting with the bottom first. And then we'll work on our top. The top is the four point connector. One side round, one side hex, if you have hex poles. Connect the round side, and if you have hex poles, 
connect the hex poles side. The most important thing is that the bucking chute remains flat and you don't bend this up when you put those in. Everything is flat on the surface that you're putting it together. And then your last two parts are two corner connectors. If you have round poles, they'll be round, they'll go on perfectly. If they're hex, you will need to pay attention that these are the two hex connectors and that they go on these two sides with the hex poles. And then they'll curve the corner and then put your last hex connector on the bottom. So now you'll take your three point connectors, you should have five, and we'll start connecting them now. Okay, your corner pieces will all go on this back panel. You'll have two at the bottom and two at the top. You'll put them wherever three poles meet. Your fifth one will go into the bottom corner of the side gate panel. You'll connect two poles to it and one of your connectors will be blank, that is gonna be for the pole that was left out in the sleeve. So next, we have two point connectors, and we're going to put those on the top side panel where we put the three point connector with the open hole. We're gonna put the two point connector on the top corner. And then we can Velcro that connector. And then your last pole, your longest pole with the sleeve, goes right here in these open connectors. 